Um, this evening we have a very, very um, wonderful guest, um, a coach, a trainer. Um, he's just everything, and um, he's going to share with us um, certain principles about coaching, about being on the job, about being um, getting internet um, traffic and so forth. So join me in welcoming to the show this evening, Mr. Patrick Doerr. Thank you so very much, May. Did I pronounce your name very well? Yeah, it's like a not a here but a doer. Does the, does it mean anything? Um, actually, there is a, a, a definition. It's an Irish name that that means black deer or something. But that's uh, in, in over in Ireland they'd actually pronounce it Dooker, which is way too many letters for me. So Dooer. Okay, I, 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 it's a very unique, beautiful name. Thank you. You're welcome. I see um, you're the owner of Dua Success Systems. Yes. How did that come about? About 10 years ago, I went through a self-improvement workshop, a little bit like Dr. Phil on steroids. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Road Adventure. It's up in Richardson. It's a multi-weekend thing. And it's faith-based. It's, it it's a good program. And in the third weekend, they had a little uh, seven-question test, uh, an assessment test, a, a spiritual gifts test. And I went through it, and it said that I was a teacher. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I ain't smart enough to be a teacher. That's at least that's what my a, administration person at A and M said. They go, Pat, do you realize that 99% of all the rest of the freshmen enrolled are placed above you? <laughs> <laughs> I went, ow, that that hurt. Uh, thanks for calling me an idiot. But I'll tell you what, I'll send you an invitation to my graduation. And I never wanted to be. Um, uh, called an idiot again. When I got out of college, I studied all the time. I mean, I really went through everything, all the self-improvement, everything like that. So one of the things when I saw this teacher thing, I went, I don't think so, but I do love to learn. I'm a voracious, my, my hobby was accelerated learning, so, and I'd love to, to go through the Bible and all these other things. So I sat there and I thought, you know what, let me see what happens if I offer it up. So I went to a Sunday school class, and I said, hey, it's an adult class. If you ever need a teacher, I'll always have a lesson plan prepared. And normal churchy Hannity, mm -hmm. they went, um, how about Sunday? And I went, uh, okay. <laughs> but church history had always been my um, like forte. I'd, I'd eaten it like truffles. And mm -hmm. listening to the Bible, I'd been through the New Testament so many times, it, it made sense. Mm -hmm. So I started working with 10 people. It grew to over 100, and then I began to ask. Uh, I, people started asking me to speak all over the Metroplex. Uh, I ended up becoming a director in the Road Adventure uh, in 2000. By 2005, I sent a DVD of some of my work over to Zig Ziglar's place. Okay. And Zig sent me back uh, an email mm -hmm. <laughs> with a contract in it that said, would you present Zig's work? And I went, uh, Zig Ziglar, my bio. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> wow, so you, that's how you started with Zig Ziglar. That's, that's how I ended up working. I worked with Zig for about a year. Okay. And then um, what I found is that I really needed to learn marketing. As a, as a, a business owner today, if you mm -hmm. don't know how to market your business, mm -hmm. you really become a technician that just is relying too much on referrals. And when you're starting, you can't. There are no referrals. Okay, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to follow you right here. When you got out of school, if you don't mind me asking, what did you major in in college? Oh, <laughs> I, I have a Bachelor of Science in Geology. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I'm an Aggie with rocks. In oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's, that's, that's incredible. Uh, so, I mean, you, were, you went on this weekend um, trip, retreat, more or less, and took this questionnaire, and it, it, it pointed out teacher. Right. You know, your, 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 your calling is to teach. Right. And, of course, you disputed it from science to arts like that. What a plunge. And now you're teaching and motivating people. I want to find out um, your background. Did you grow up in a Christian home? Actually, I can't say that I did. We, we, my dad was a, an agnostic. My mother was a backslidden Baptist. I mean, mm -hmm. we didn't go to church a lot. Okay. When I was 15, I, I started, like a lot of guys, I met a really cute little girl. <laughs> she had a dad that really took church seriously. And mm -hmm. in order for me to see her more than once a week, Mm -hmm. I had to go to church, <laughs> and I'll, I, I took her up on it. And while I was there, I began to ask the, quest, the right questions. God began to get a hold of me, and mm -hmm. life began to change real quickly. 
So you encountered Christ at um, 15, 16, yeah. thereabout? Yeah, he really got my attention at that time. When you say he got your attention, how did he get your attention? <laughs> well, for uh, it's, it's a little bit of a story, but let's just say I had a dream where okay. God offered me the opportunity of living without him. And I said, no way. Mm. And I woke up right then and I said, I'm yours, whatever it takes. Mm. And I uh, got baptized and, and really took my, my walk with Christ seriously. When I was in college, my roommates were the three strongest Christians I've ever met in my life to this day. We're still good friends and they're still life changers and world changers in, in my opinion. So does it, I mean, is it safe to employ, imply that God orchestrates our steps from day one? <laughs> I would, I would say absolutely. Okay, and now you coach people. What has been the greatest, what, I mean, what has been the greatest impact you've had on anybody since you started coaching? Well, mentoring others has been the most amazing thing. When, when I worked with uh, The Road Adventure, I was a director of directors is what I ended up becoming. I taught others how to run a three-day weekend. I taught others how to walk in the authority that God had put in their life and really began to change and touch others' lives in a massive way. Because we had several thousand people go through the program. Mm -hmm. And what was really amazing is working with somebody and saying, one, do you recognize the authority that is already there? And then two, how can you begin to use that in its maximum potential mm -hmm. in the area of not just ministry, because there were several people that I trained to do the weekend, and one particular guy, he, I worked with him for a couple of years, and he was transferred, mm -hmm. and he was really upset. And I said, you know what, I'm not, mm -hmm. because everything we taught you, you now can do in Florida. So uh, out of curiosity, if I was to come, say I was a client, you know, looking for someone to um, coach me, to bring out that thing, you know, from within, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you um, start with the client? Do you, what do you do? Well, I have to admit, there's a, I don't like to coach one-on-one -on -one very much, okay. and I'll tell you why. Because I found another tool that's even better for the client rather than just me. Mm -hmm. I can mentor, that's fine. But the, if you get a group of business owners, like eight business owners, that work together to build each other's business, uh, Napoleon Hill called it a mastermind mm -hmm. uh, in Think and Grow Rich. There's lots of, a, you can call it anything you want, a think tank. A con a group that just gets together to help each other collaborate in, in their business. Whatever you call it, getting together five to six hours a month to really work on each other's business is life-changing. Uh, my favorite group right now is a group of, of guys, it's about nine folks, that they have to have a million dollar business. In other words, it has to produce a million in sales a year just to qualify to get into that group. And so the group goes from about a million to about 40 million, and they're amazing. They're the best group of guys, that, and, and they're, they're faithful. They're, uh, I know they're all believers. We will pray before every time we get together. But even beyond that, mm -hmm. it's that these guys really understand how to be successful already, and I just facilitate